hi friends welcome welcome back to my channel so i am popping on here because it is a beautiful morning my son is watching a movie well technically it's not morning still it's like afternoon now or whatever but it just feels like one of those nice mornings where i just wanted to pull out my camera and i found my tripod yay and also look at what i found guys i found my pocket ski. And I just like literally dug it out of the box just because I need to back plan in it and try to back plan in it. Maybe not, maybe, maybe I might end up filling like filling in random pages with random stuff or whatever, but I thought I'd do it here on camera with you guys for a little bit. Even if I only get through a couple of days with you guys here on camera, then at least I film something, you know? But let's just go ahead and hop right into it. I am just sitting down getting cozy. I have a nice hot cup of coffee. Hopefully that doesn't look ugly. Monique, I know don't come for me, girl, if this isn't aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> but, so I wanted to try a new creamer. I am usually like all about hazelnut creamer, okay guys? Like hazelnut creamer through everything. But I wanted to try something different and I actually got one that's called Cinnamon Vanilla. And it is so good. Honestly, you guys, it kind of tastes like Christmas, if that makes sense. Like that cinnamon flavor. It's just, it's really, really good. It's been like a nice way to wake up and drink that in the morning times. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. So, everything else is still the same in here, you guys. Nothing has changed because I just love how I have everything set up in here that Everything's kind of permanent too in here at this point So it's not like I can change anything, you know Um, but it is actually Tuesday, May 30th I have not filmed another video. I know my last video was like, a uh, was it? Yeah, it was this week from the uh, May 8th to the 14th. That was my last video. But I haven't filmed the video for the week of the 15th to the 21st yet. So hopefully I will get to that. If not, then obviously it'll happen eventually. But yeah, today's the 30th. I just want to go ahead and back plan. Um, let's see. How far am I behind in here? I feel like I'm really, really far behind. So Saturday, May 13th is when the last time. Is the last time. Uh, sorry guys, okay. Let me go ahead and get a pen. So Saturday, May 13th, that day, my husband just put up signs like in the morning, early in the morning. So I got up here. I can hear my son running around on the couch right now. I don't hear him now, but. He gets so upset when I tell him not to run on the couch. He already almost slipped off the couch the other day and he still hasn't learned his lesson. <laughs> but I guess that's how they learn, right? I guess that's how they learn. That's the only way they're gonna learn, like to not run around the couch, jump around, and do dangerous stunts. Okay. Uh, we had the yard till until 2 p.m. that day. I'll just notate it here. Um, and we made a nice stash of cash. Day. 
actually you know what guys i might end up posting this video so if you watch this video and it's like kind of weird because i said i end up filming the 8th to the 14th ignore that because i just remembered right now that i need to film my commit 30 video first like a flip through of it before i go and show you guys like you know or i don't want to show you guys next week's Mama. spread yes honey go watch your video it's gonna come back on and so i actually need to film that video first oh before i put this one out so if this is me getting my dates mixed up and everything like that then ignore me ignore me you guys have already seen everything and whatnot so this will just come afterwards <laughs> breakfast okay oh i already wrote that we stayed out to the yard sale until 2 p.m and then oh it was pizza night that night it was my aunt's birthday that day i don't know if i have pizza I don't think I have pizza stickers in here. I think it's in this one. Mom. Hmm. Hi, baby. Yes. Mom. Mom. Oh, it fell over? Yes. Can you go watch your show? Mom. Honey, go watch your show before, it's, before it's over. Mom. Okay, I will open it in a little bit, okay? He has an obsession with watching YouTube videos right now um, with, how would I say it? With um, Lightning McQueen, like Lightning McQueen videos. And it's so funny because he's like, mom, mom, like all, all the like cars that they play with and stuff like that. He has a majority of them, but some of them he doesn't have. And then every time he watches it, he's always like, mom. And he'll point at one, like, at one that he doesn't have. And then he'll be like, target. Like, he says, target. <laughs> go. Let's go. Like, it's so funny. And I'm like, we are not going to target right now to go buy you, like, Newman Queen cards, okay? One, because your dad's at work and I don't like going anywhere without him by myself. Um, and two, you don't need any more. He does not need any more, you guys. When I tell you the amount of freaking cars that he has, it's ridiculous. I literally step on them, like, well, not step on them, but I have to step around them, I should say. I won't be as dramatic about that. But, yeah. <laughs> it's just funny. Okay, and then the 14th was Mother's Day. So, I'm going to use this cute pur purplish color. I am going to put... But anyways, you guys, yeah, so this video will be like all over the place. If I don't make any sense then i do apologize i don't know when this video will come out let's just say that but at least i have it on the back burner not on the back burner but at least i have a video prepared <laughs> it was mother's day that day no. hmm oh. what where are we gonna go? Uh, we can't go anywhere. 
Man. We do have to go check the mail, though. So we recently like went to um, a Michael's in our area, like a new one to me. And my husband bought me like some new markers and a sticker book. And you know, my husband's usually like the type that like will buy me things. Like, like literally he surprises me all the time. But this time, because we were moving and, like, trying to do our yard sale and, like, all these other little things, it was hard for us to, like, go out and, like, do something for Mother's Day. So my husband ended up making up for it, like, after our move and whatnot. So that was very, very nice of him. Um, let me show you guys, like, my new sticker books that he got for me. Hang on. So if I'm standing up, I can adjust my lighting and my camera. Uh-oh. Nope. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's fine. It looks perfect to me in here, but it looks weird. Over there. Let's move you guys down. That looks better. Okay. So he ended up getting me these cute sticker books. So I got this Happy Planner one. This one's like a Sunshine Vibes. And I just, it's just so cute. I fell in love with the colors and the way that it looks. Like I said, I got these over at Michael's. Normally when I go to Michael's, it's very dry. I never find anything there, like ever. So the fact that I found these, it was amazing. So if you guys think this is super cute, I thought it was perfect for summer. And now that we're like in an apartment and everything like that we have like a pool and stuff so i'm like oh that's gonna be perfect you know and then i got this one this one's encouragement by the happy planner and it just looks so so cute this one's like super super colorful i love the blue foiling on this it's so pretty This is turning into a haul video. <laughs> I just wanted to flip through them really quick. So then that way, like, you guys, if you guys see me, like, grabbing these and, like, using them, then that way you guys already know, like, what it kind of looks like. And then this one's an essentials tracker and checklist one. Oh, kind of got dim there a little bit. I have, like, this beautiful view right now. Oh. I wish I could take a picture right now, but I'm using my phone to record. But this whole entire like view right now just looks so pretty. But yeah, though that is the other sticker book. So I got those three sticker books, and then I also got a pack of mild liners. Let's see. I think it's I think it was this whole pack here. So I got these new colors. And I'm so, so over the moon with them. They're so nice and bright and vibrant and very, very summery. So that's what I got. Like I got a couple of things. Um, what else did I get? Also, he bought me a new table and some chairs. So I was so so happy about that. Um, like I said, we just moved. So I guess I can talk about it now, right? Because technically, <laughs> anyways, yeah. So we ended up, since we moved, and you guys are, have already seen the video about me moving, um, I wanted a new table. So my husband was like, okay, you know, and knowing me, I am very much like a very frugal person. Like I like to buy things new and stuff like that sometimes, but sometimes I'm like, I can find this for cheaper somewhere else, you know? I try to like save money where I can because that's just how I've always been. My mom taught me to be that way as well. And so I am just that person. So I was like browsing the Facebook marketplace one day here in um, Austin. And 
literally i found a table for $70 and it's like this beautiful like round farmhouse table it's like white at the bottom that's like very much my aesthetic you know it's like kind of like the farmhouse vibes a little bit um not all the way but like the table wise and like that's just how I like the table I like the shelvings and stuff like that that's the kind of like vibe that I really really like and so I ended up um messaging the girl and she's like yeah you guys can come pick it up today so I was like, okay. Um, so my husband was at work. And when he got home, we drove like maybe 20, 25 minutes north of Austin to like a little smaller town just right outside. Like literally like a little small town. Um, and I got it. And it is so, so pretty. And she said that it was a... Um, an Amish furniture I guess I'm not really sure like I'm not really like like savvy or like whatever it's called like inside of like furniture you know like I'm not really like all into like furniture and like the details of furniture like some people are like oh this is real wood you know or um this is antique or something like I'm not I don't really know about that stuff but apparently it was made by Amish people and like I guess those are like sturdy tables according to my husband so I'm like, oh, that's, that's a score, you know, for $70. And it's so pretty. So because he bought that for me, it didn't come with chairs. So I was like, it's okay. We can just get chairs like another time. And so we ended up going to like look around. I was still trying to look on Facebook Marketplace of, because I was like, oh, maybe I'll find, you know, something cute. Maybe I will find like... You know something to match it but of course i looked and most of them were just kind of like uh you know they weren't really nice and what i wanted and some of them were like super expensive still and i'm like i am not paying that much money for four chairs that is ridiculous and so i ended up finding some decent looking ones from ikea well i didn't actually we decided to go to ikea and so I ended up finding, we ended up finding chairs there. So that was another Mother's Day gift to myself, or not to myself, but for my husband. And yes, I call it a Mother's Day gift because I'm the one that wanted it. And I'm the one that had like this vision in my head. And like I told my husband and he was like, okay. But I mean, like obviously my husband always buys me like things that I want, I need. And like, you know. A majority of the time I always like consult with him about something before like I buy something just because you know he's the bread maker and I'm not like I don't feel okay just buying something without letting him know so a majority of the time I run it by him and he'll be like okay well how much is it where you know where can where, where do we buy it whatever and sometimes he'll like talk me through it too like if it's, especially if it's like a, a purchase that I don't really really need you know he'll be like do you really need it? Like, you know, he'll just make sure that I'm ready to like spend, especially if it's like a huge chunk of change. He'll be like, okay, you know, all right, you still want it? Okay, fine, we'll get it for you. Or like whatever. But my husband's a sweetheart and <laughs> he ended up buying all that stuff for me that, that day. And I thought it was so cute. What am I doing? Okay. I am spending forever just talking here. You need to move quiche so you can get through a couple of days at least here on camera before your son starts coming in here and making me turn off the camera. I'm trying to look for like a grilling sticker. I thought I had a grilling sticker. I know I have some small ones, but I don't want to use that one unless I have to. but yeah that was like another mother's day gift that my husband got for me and there's always like a couple you know things that he'll buy for me too like i said surprisingly well i shouldn't say surprisingly i haven't wanted any planner stuff but i have like you know i but i've just been holding off like i said 
I don't want to like spend money on something that I know is not gonna last. And so, but I've been wanting to get a personal rings planner for some time now, but I just haven't like done it. Grilled some yummy chicken and had a little dinner. I had like a little dinner with my family that day for Mother's Day. And also it was going to be like our last dinner um, before we moved. And then let me just notate down here. Dalton didn't nap that day. And he was out by 8 p.m. Okay. I'm not going to write that I had a planner time just because. Okay. Oh my goodness. What day are we on? Today's the 30th. So I have, oh, I don't have a lot, a lot to back plan. Come on, Keish. Don't be so dramatic. Actually, I do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have like 15 days. Oh my goodness. I am dramatic. Okay, Monday, May 15th. I just put up early. Uh, Dalvin. Oh, yes. Uh, he needed to drop off something. He needed to drop off something over at his old job that morning. So he went over there that morning. Okay. Um, so this day, I just needed to... I am just going to write morning routine because it's kind of just what we did. We just did the morning routine, which is just like getting up, washing our face, brushing our teeth, all of that stuff. And breakfast, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, Dalton. Where are we gonna go? Hmm? Do you have money? Mom. Yeah. <laughs> I always tell him that. Do you have money? And he's like, uh, no. And then he'll grab my, my bag. <laughs> so because my son has been like dipping into like the YouTube world lately, he found Blippi. And he's been wanting to go to like a like ball pit, like kid thing. I don't know what this, he does something. I don't know what he does. I've seen a couple of videos of my husband and I was just like watching him. And my son was like so intrigued because of he goes, especially with the ball pit things inside of that like kid jungle gym or whatever. All set. I just wanted to call our apartment that day just to make sure that everything was done. Like officially, officially done for that Friday. So when we got here that Friday, all we had to do was just pick up the keys and then, you know, walk around the complex and be shown our apartment and stuff like that. And of course it was. Um, my husband did a Starbucks run. I'm just going to put coffee run. But yeah, he's been obsessed with Blippi. It's, he got so quiet. <laughs> oh man. Oh, 
Oh, he's talking about um, fire trucks right now. And my son has been obsessed with fire trucks because the apartments that we live in, we literally um, live right across this, like, literally like maybe a hundred yards away from our house our apartment is a fire station um some people are probably like ew that's got to be annoying because they're probably always going off but honestly we can't we couldn't even tell <laughs> unless it's like super dead quiet here in the house and sometimes it is you know but at nighttime we like listen to um meditation music when we go to sleep just because we've always done that since my son was um, a baby and I so we're just used to it so at night time we don't hear anything because because of that because we listen to meditation music and honestly if it's like dead quiet which it was like the first couple of days we were here in, in the apartment and um it, uh, because I couldn't find our Alexa, which by the way, she's going off right now <laughs> because I said her name. <laughs> I said her name. So she's like, you said my name. You summoned me. But yeah, it was even then, like even then I could not even hear. I could not even hear um, the fire trucks. And honestly, I feel more safe knowing that they're literally across the street. We also have this very, very cute coffee shop. I guess it's very locally known here. I don't know if it's only here in Austin or like all over Texas. But um, it's called Summer Moon Coffee. Maybe they're, I think, I think I was looking into them one time and I think they are in different parts of the U.S. too. So I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But, but they have a lot of locations here and it's called Summer Moon Coffee. And it was so good, you guys, with a, or like the couple of times that we've had it already. So, so good. If you have one in your area and you haven't tried it yet, definitely try it. Um, if you like kind of strong, semi-sweet coffee, then get the half winter moon coffee and it is bomb.com. You guys, it is so good. Okay. So that was Monday the 15th, Tuesday the 16th. Um, I'm just going to get one of these big old stickers here. I remember this day. We were like trying to call around for a U-Haul that day and it was just not working out, sadly, in our favor that day. So we decided not to stress about it. So we went out and we went to In-N-Out Burger for lunch while we were waiting for these people to call us back from U-Haul. And they finally called us back and they said, oh yeah, we have a trailer. So we were so, so happy that they found a trailer. But we were also very upset because, well, we weren't really, really upset. We were more happy than anything because if we could not find a trailer, I mean, obviously U-Haul has like a ton of trailers. But those, the trailer that we wanted specifically, we wanted it to hook up to our truck. So then that way we could like haul our own stuff. So if that wasn't the case, then me and my son were actually gonna stay behind in Phoenix when my husband came down here until he could like come and get the rest of the stuff. And then we would like fly down and stuff like that. So obviously we were kind of like, no, like we were bummed because we thought we were gonna stay behind. And luckily the universe and the higher powers above found one for us. Oh, 
And so, like I said, they found one for us. But it was about an hour drive south of Phoenix. And... Luckily, my husband was uh, went to go pick it up while I stayed behind. And because my son was going to go to sleep anyways. And um, it was over in Casa Grande. So he was gone for about three hours altogether. I had to pick it up around 4 p.m which is like super traffic time in Phoenix. So that definitely sucked for him. But he ended up getting it and we ended up being able to come. So we were so happy that we were able to get that all done because like I said, we were about ready to stay down there in Phoenix until like the next time, probably like until now which is like, what, the 30th of May. We probably would have came down like two weeks after my husband or something. And we didn't want to. We wanted to come with my husband that that day he was leaving. Or that day we, were, we, we left, actually. And luckily, we did. We did. So, that was a very lucky day for us that we found that what is this Amazon place Amazon oh, I had to place an Amazon order that day for like a mattress cover to like protect our mattress and that got delivered the next day and then my son did another day of not taking a nap I'm telling you guys, this no nap thing is starting to become like a normal thing for my son. Well, actually, I would say that like after we moved here because of like the huge like time difference, it's about two hours ahead from Phoenix, that he's been like wanting to take a nap, like around like 11 o'clock. He's like, mom, and he'll point at the room and he wants to come in the room and like we'll lay down, he'll fall asleep. And then I'll just have like a little bit of me time or like actually be able to get that time. Sorry guys, this thing is like stuck. My mom made me this cover and she made it like so snug that sometimes it doesn't like lay flat like how I want it to. But at the same time, I don't want to not use it because my mom made it for me. But yeah, I would say that that whole week he was definitely not taking a nap but I think us moving here and doing all that driving because it was a 14 hour trip well not in one day okay let's not let's not say we did the whole 14 hours with Dalton no we like split it up because yeah you you guys will see oh you guys have already seen but we ended up staying like in Fort Stockton which is like nine hours from Phoenix and because we had the trailer behind us and because we have a toddler, it took us, <laughs> instead of nine hours, it took us like 12, 13 hours to get there. And it was rough. We were so done. We were so done that day, you guys. When we got there, we like literally passed out. And then it was like the same thing again the next morning. We just woke up and we were trying to get on Texas time because we're like, okay, we're going to have to get used to you know that time down there so we woke up like at seven o'clock we woke up at seven o'clock texas time but it was like 5 a.m phoenix time it's so confusing so by the time we got here to texas like we were already basically on that time and like tired by like a normal time here and it's so funny because even now, like, I'm still trying to adjust to it. Like, sometimes, like, I'll get a text message from somebody and it's, like, 1130 here. And I'm like, why are you texting me so late? And then I have to remember that my family member is in Phoenix. So, it's only 930 over there. And I'm like, duh. One morning, I, like, almost... <laughs> One morning, I almost um called my mom. 
was like casually sitting here playing with my planner and my son was like you know playing with his toys and then I was sitting here and then I was like oh you know I should call my mom and talk with her so like I go up and get my phone and I like put her on FaceTime <laughs> And it was literally, like, literally, like, after, well, after I called, so I called, right? Sorry. So I called. And as it was, like, the first ring, I was like, what time is it anyways? And it was, like, 8.30 here. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. And I, like, hung up super, super fast because it was barely 6.30 over there. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, Keisha. You almost called your mom at 6.30 in the morning. And like obviously like I was laughing about it and I called her later and I was telling her like oh I almost called you this morning at this time and she she just started laughing and she was like I was up anyways <laughs> like <laughs> you could have called me and I'm like well I wasn't sure you know I didn't want to like call you and then like you were still sleeping I would have felt so bad waking you up that early in the morning if you were still sleeping and my mom's a light sleeper so if she's sleeping like you don't want to wake her up at all because like i said she's a light sleeper and you want her to sleep this is the day we were getting our ish together doing last minute things trying to shove more stuff inside of the trailer so we actually didn't take everything we still have stuff in our storage out there in phoenix so my husband's gonna eventually take a trip out there and go pick up the rest of our stuff and hopefully he'll do that soon i mean we don't need all of that stuff but then that way we, we stop paying for our storage over there i think we might end up still getting a storage down here because all of our stuff won't fit inside of this two bedroom apartment or unless we're going to end up like getting rid of some stuff so far i've done i've kind of done that already is getting rid of stuff because like i said that stuff won't fit in our apartment it will but like i don't want it i don't like clutter I don't like clutter. It drives me crazy when there's clutter. So can you imagine how I was like that whole time our house was like in shambles while we were trying to like unpack. Okay. So there was another day. How long is this video anyways? Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's almost at 40 minutes, you guys. Okay, I think I'm just gonna end the video here because I am chatting too much. And it is 11.57 and I gotta go make lunch for my son now. Um, I guess the next time we see this video, my dates will be, my days will be like all caught up. But yeah, you guys, I am going to end the video here because I didn't realize I was talking this much. And this video is super, super long. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!